This is UK Retro Game Addict and today I'm coming at you from the Retro Computer Museum Retro Gaming Weekender in Swaddling Co in Leicester. So let's have a look around and see what they've got. Right, having a look at the, I've uh, got the Atari um, 2600 Woody here, uh, six button one. Now on top of it, something I've never seen before, is a uh, Hales ROM scanner. Uh, this is a cool little device. Um, which is quite like the Nintendo M82, um, basically like a cartridge selector. So you load all your cartridges up at the top there. Basically, choose which one you want to play. So number four, we'll play Phoenix. Press that, and there we go. Get Phoenix up on uh, up on screen. Then number one, we want to play ET. There he is. The Atrocity <laughs> ET is coming up. One of the copies that they didn't bury under cement. So there we go, the Hales ROM scanner. Uh, again, something I'm sure is probably rare as uh, anything, but something I'm definitely going to have a look for because it's such a cool little add-on for the 2600. Right, so let's have a look at a uh, couple of systems here then. We've got the uh, Dick Smith Wizard. Um, again, never heard of this uh, system before. Got like your uh, overlay cards and stuff, a bit like you're in television. Uh, cartridge base by the looks of things and uh, also got your, your controllers there, a bit like the ColecoVision as well with your uh, keyboard. We've got another system here uh, called an Alice by the looks of things. Quite a, quite a good uh, red colour there with uh, matching cassette player. Then this uh, the original Master System. Then over here as well, got a uh, projector on the wall here for uh, Bomberman running on the original PC Engine with the uh, CD-ROM 2 as well. There we go. So, Katsumi Ninja on the uh, atrocity for video gaming, the Atari Jaguar. A poor man's, poor man's uh, Mortal Kombat, if ever we saw one. The only thing that saved it with the Scottish guy when he headbutted you um, as his fatality was the only good thing about that in this entire game. And the fact that Dominic Diamond used to just go on about it every week in Games Master. Oh yes, there we go. Playing one-handed, just sweeps. <laughs> Defeated. <laughs> I think we should both play one-handed. Okay then, last round then, one-handed battle. It's on. Challenge of the sweep attack. Oh. <laughs> Who <laughs> paused it? <laughs> oh, look at that. Flying attacks. Oh, oh, uppercuts. Oh, it's on, it's on. Finish him. There you go. <laughs> the poor man's fatality. So there you go. You can play Katsumi Ninja with one hand on the Jaguar. Which proves to play a Jaguar, you don't need any brain cells because you bought one and you can play it single handedly. Right, I'm going to show you uh, quite a rare system here in England uh, the Atari 5200. Um, I mean, this one. It is an absolute monster. Probably the biggest console uh, the world has ever seen. You've got the huge uh, controller storage port there. The cartridges alone, as you can see, are absolutely massive. Um, and then it also came with the amazing controller that would last about an hour and a half after you got out of the box and then it would basically break. Um, yeah, an atrocity to Atari, but a, uh, a classic piece of history nonetheless. Uh, and yes, it is the, the biggest console, as you can see, the world has ever seen. Um, to get one of these imported to England is a complete nightmare, because it's just so big and heavy. Um, no one wants to ship them. This is a bit of a uh, shop lifter on the 5200. <laughs> and we can work out how to get it going. There you go. 
the, uh, the controller broke already. Right. <laughs> it's not very precise. Not overly. Right, having a quick look at the uh, Commodore SX64. SX obviously standing for sexy. Um, as you can see here, it's uh, totally, totally uh, portable there with uh, attractive grey-brown um, plastic with a uh, turquoise finish there and built-in disk drive and a little space here to put your playing cards or more discs. How cool is that? So this is where uh, gaming uh, started for me with the uh, Oric One, 16K I believe of uh, pure power there. And uh, as they've got here, they've also got the uh, Oric One printer, color printer, which I've never seen before, it's kind of cool. Another Oric One there. And also later on a 48K version of the, uh, of the Oric as well. Uh, this thing was great. And again, they used to have some uh, awesome games of Harrier Attack and uh, Punchback as well on this when I was a kid. I've been having a go on uh, Under Defeat on the uh, Dreamcast, I've not played this one before. Uh, two play uh, person uh, bullet hell sort of uh, helicopter shooter. And it was really good actually. You know, top notch graphics, uh, really good gameplay. And again, uh, quite a nice sort of, uh, sort of different control system with the helicopters and the direction you go in. Uh, so a really uh, good little shooter, definitely have to uh, have a look out for on the Dreamcast in the future. A little peripheral that I've uh, never seen before, the uh, Sega Mouse Mat, um, and also the Sega Mouse as well. Uh, never seen one of these before. Maybe it's for uh, Arts Alive. Uh, maybe they did a, uh, an updated version to uh, yeah, counter Mario paint. Right, all is forgiven with the 3D. We're going to give it one more go with Rebel Assault. Um, which I'm not holding out for <laughs> being any good at all. But if if this one is no good, then we're strickening the uh, 3DO from any good games ever made for the stupid thing. Again, the loading time horrific. I think I've actually I think I've actually seen this game go. It's just like this. This is it. It's just like hitting, uh, you know, one rats with my T16 back home, allegedly. Look at that! Wow, stunning graphics. Can you shoot? Okay. <laughs> Left or right? Oh, oh, you're on a track, it won't let you go the other way. Fucking piece of crap. Oh dear. Easy. If you don't actually steer, will it crash? <laughs> no. Just let, let, leave the controls. Okay. Going there, uh, control free now. Hands free kit, engaged. Use the force. <laughs> Use the force. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, Rebel Assault on the uh, Panasonic. Uh, now developed using the force. Don't use the joypad. Use the force to control your ship. Oh dear. That's a bit of Phoenix. to play for now on the raffle. Ten numbers. Will I win? Another Nintendo game. Or some shandy. <laughs> or oh, some shandy. Yeah! <laughs> Joe's got the 700 games, that's what we came for. Next one. Four, zero, one, one, two, four, zero, five. Game on. Meltdown. Patrick. Get in. Had a really good time uh, today down at the Retro Compute Museum Weekender. Um, some great rare systems down here. Again, some stuff I'd never seen before. Some awesome games. And uh, yeah, all in all, a good day. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you soon with some more reviews. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs>